K4 is our name for the complete graph on four vertices. That is four vertices where each vertex is connected to each of the other vertices with exactly one edge. But notice, in drawing K4 this way, two of the edges crossed each other. Is it possible to draw K4 so that none of the edges cross? Sure it is. Instead, we could have drawn four vertices and connected them like this. Notice these two graphs have all the same information. Four vertices are connected by edges so that each vertex is connected to every other vertex by an edge. We just found a way to draw it so that none of the vertices cross each other. We, saw, we call such a graph planar because you're able to draw the graph in the plane without the vertices hitting each other. How about K5? That is the complete graph on five vertices where each vertex is connected to every other vertex. Is it possible for us to draw K5 so that the edges don't hit each other? Here, they hit each other one, two, three, four, five times. Can we get rid of those crossings? Let's try. We might begin by just drawing the outer loop of K5. After all, all of these vertices are going to have to connect with each other somehow. But then we have two choices. Let me label the vertices A, B, C, D, and E. Our two choices are we could connect E and B inside of this loop, or we could draw K5 so that E and B are connected outside of the loop. Once we make one of those choices, let's continue to see what happens. In the first choice, now if we want to connect A to D, we can't do it inside without hitting the edge BE. So instead we have to connect A to D outside. Similarly, we have to connect A to C outside so we don't hit the edge inside. But now we run into some trouble because how are we going to connect E with C and D with B? You could connect E to C inside like this, but then when you connect D to B, they would cross. And you can't connect E to C outside because it would hit this other edge and you can't connect B to D outside because it would hit this other edge. So either way you go, you get into trouble. In this case, we see something similar happens. Now A and D have to be connected inside because they can't be connected outside without hitting this other edge. And A and C have to be connected inside. But how are we going to connect E to C? It can't be done inside, it has to be done outside. But then we must also be connecting B to D outside. And these two edges will end up crossing. We see that no matter the possibility, no matter the road you chase down, you're going to end up with intersections. So we say that K5 is an example of a non-planar graph. There's no way to draw K5 to avoid these intersections hitting each other. There are some other graphs that have this property too. One of them is K33. We call it K33 because we partition six vertices into two sets of three. And then all the vertices in each vertex in one set, you connect to all of the vertices in the other set. But none of the three on top are connected to each other and none of the three on bottom are connected to each other. Take a moment and convince yourself that there's no way to draw K33 to avoid these intersections between edges either. Like K5, K33 is also non-planar. There's a wonderful result of graph theory called Kuratowski's theorem, proven in 1930, that shows that K5 and K33 are the canonical examples of what can go wrong. That is, every time you have a non-planar graph, some graph 
that cannot be drawn so edges do not intersect. For every non-planar graph, there will be hidden inside of it a subgraph that looks quite a bit like either K5 or K33. More precisely, it has a subgraph that is homeomorphic. to either K5 or K33. By homeomorphic, I just mean that if you remove or add vertices of degree 2, you'll be able to make it look like K5 or K33. That is, if you smooth it out of those vertices to eliminate it so it just looks like a single edge there, you can move it into either K5 or K33. Let's look at an example of this. A well-studied graph in graph theory is called the Peterson graph. The Peterson graph begins with 10 vertices, 5 on the outside and 5 on the inside, where each of the vertices outside is connected into a cycle, and each vertex inside is connected to the corresponding vertex outside, and then a star shape is formed. In this Peterson graph, we're going to show it's non-planar. In particular, we're going to appeal to Karakowski's theorem that since it's non-planar, hidden inside of it is a K5 or K33. First of all, we want to look at a subgraph of the Peterson graph. You form a subgraph by deleting some of the edges and vertices. On this graph, we're going to delete this vertex and these three edges. What will result? Well, we still have the five edges on the outside, the five edges connecting five vertices on the outside, but now inside, we only have three four vertices, one, two, three, four vertices that are connected as well as to each other like this. We've removed this vertex and these three edges to give us this subgraph of the Peterson graph. Now looking at that, you may not think that looks like K5 or K33, but secretly it is. This is where homeomorphisms come in. Remember, a homeomorphism says that whenever you have a vertex of degree 2, you can smooth it out. So this graph is homeomorphic to a graph that just has a single edge here, removing this vertex. And similarly, that has a single edge here, removing this vertex of degree 2. And similarly, that has a single edge here, removing this vertex of degree 2. What do we have now? It'll help us to color it to see what's going on. Let me color this vertex blue. This blue vertex is connected to a green vertex down here, a green vertex up here, and a green vertex right here. And each of these green vertices connected to that blue vertex but they're also connected to this vertex and this vertex. That is, we have three green vertices and three blue vertices. And notice, if you pick any of the blue vertices, it's connected to all of the green vertices. This blue vertex is connected to this green vertex, this green vertex, and this green vertex. Similarly, this blue vertex is connected to this green vertex, this green vertex, and this green vertex. This last blue vertex is connected to the green, the green, and the green. So each of the blue is connected to all of the green. And none of the green are connected to any of the green, and none of the blue are connected to any of the blue. So what is this secretly? Secretly, we have a graph that's homeomorphic to just K33. Since Hidden inside of this graph is a non-planar graph. Of course, this graph can't be planar either. 
because in the process of making a planar, you would have to make K33 planar, which is impossible. So Karatowski's theorem says that whenever you have a non-planar graph, you can find inside of it some subgraph by removing edges and vertices that you can then smooth out via homeomorphism, eliminating degree two vertices, replacing them with just a simple edge, and it'll result in either a K33 or K5.